What did I say? I said, Nancy Pelosi, Adam, shit stains for brains, shifty, shit mouth, shift, nanny fucking Pelosi, nanny, nanny state Pelosi, Gerald the Penguin Nadler, AOC, dumb as a box of fucking rocks, Cortez, Alexandria, Ocasio, Ocasio, or whatever the fuck her name is, Ocasio, Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, yeah, I realize, I typed Rashid, I meant to say Rashida Tlaib, it doesn't fucking matter, that stupid bitch, terrorist fucking supporter, and her buddy, Ilhan Omar, Hamas, fucking terrorist sympathizer, supporter, Oh, yeah. Forgot to add John Bolton. And uh, Edward Snowden. Forgot to add. You probably are like, why Edward Snowden, Grove? What does he have to do with these deep state people? Well, he's a deep state actor himself. And they're all fucking bums. Hashtag all bums. They're all fucking bums, man. Look at them. Just look at their crew. Insane bum gang. You know why they're insane bums? In my in my view, I'm one Sir Growth, and I said so. Do you know why John Bolton, Edward Snowden, Nancy Pelosi, Rashida Tlaib, AOC, Alexandria, Ocasio-Cortez, long ass fucking name, and Gerald the fucking Penguin Nadler, do you know why I call them insane bums? You, you, you might be like, Grove, they're all highly educated, including AOC. And I'd be like, mm-hmm. Yeah, despite whatever academic background they may have on paper, they're all fucking traitor ass bums. And not only are they traitor ass bums, but just look at them. Look at their countenance. Look, look at their psychological profile as I view it in the multiverse. These people are dripping with arrogance, not just arrogance. That's not what makes them bums. There's more to it. The insanity of their arrogance is that they actually believe that that we Americans, that I'm fucking stupid and and, and that I am to believe their story, their fucking narrative. That's how insane they are. They literally have deluded themselves into believing that what they are saying is somehow fucking legitimate. Edward Snowden is going to be arrested for espionage and probably in prison for the rest of his fucking life. Do you think what Edward Snowden did will result in only like a, in, in only a 20 year fucking prison sentence in a maximum security fucking federal detention? Do you think it's only 20 fucking years for what he did? It doesn't matter what his stupid ass attorneys argue on his behalf. Look at how much time Jonathan Pollard received in prison for spying for Israel. What Edward Snowden has done has resulted in the deaths of U.S. intelligence assets. The demise, the assassinations, the killings of U.S. intelligence assets, human, human, human intelligence assets. Intelligence officers. He gave away fucking the keys, man, to the kingdom, some of them, or queendom, or whatever your pronoun is. Yeah, your gender, whatever preference for that. God is a woman. I don't fucking care. Your neutrality, whatever the fuck you're saying, I don't really give a shit. The point is, he gave away secrets that resulted consequently in the fucking deaths of of our people and and gave the enemy not just human intelligence assets that were oft killed executed as a result but he also gave a back door inroad to our system and tools that can be used against our system to cripple our system and to do irreparable harm damage grave damage to our U.S. national security. 
this fucking piece of shit, clown ass, punk, fucking hashtag, American traitor, isn't gonna do simply 20 fucking years in prison. And if I'm not mistaken, he is currently the world's most wanted person, even more so than Osama bin Laden. Yeah, yeah, that's real shit. Edward fucking Snowden is an egotistical, egotistical, arrogant, American traitor, arrogant fucking traitor, thumbing, did I get it right this time? Thumbing his nose at America, smiling in America's fucking face, laughing at us, clowning us, the clown that he is, doing his clown impression, which is a really good impression because he is a natural born fucking clown. Hashtag born loser. Look at this dude. Was in the military and decided to be a fucking traitor. Served in the military only to later become a fucking bum. Later to become a motherfucking traitor to the United States of America. You see, under the Obama administration... He, he expected and anticipated to get a slap on the fucking wrist. That's not what Donald Trump has said is going to happen and be the case. You see, Edward Snowden miscalculated because he's an arrogant fucking bum traitor. In his bum fucking mind, in his arrogant, egotistical, bum fucking mind, lousy, bum, traitor mind, he expected for... Obama to sympathize with him, which Obama did, because Obama's a fucking bum too. But Obama was in no hurry to scramble jets. So then he was hoping, bum ass American traitor, Edward fucking bum American traitor Snowden, he was expecting and anticipating an equally sympathetic clown bum Hillary Clinton to be in office. Now, that did not happen. Edward Snowden, though, flouting the law in his mind, he realizes that it's hashtag fucking game over for him. Yeah, because Donald Trump is going to be reelected, and how long, how long can traitor ass fucking bum ass Snowden be on the run? He's not going to get any type of leniency. He's not He's not going to get away with the shit that he fucking did. He's not going to get a slap on the fucking wrist. Edward Snowden is not going to get a slap on the wrist. And he's not going to get away. So, with all the millions of followers that this fucking bum has, it's all useless, man, and it's all futile. All of it. Which brings me back to my point. Doesn't matter how many millions of fucking followers and sympathetic, empathetic persons who are rooting for, for these fucking bums, rooting for them. You go Edward Snowden, you're so fucking cool. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, man. It's all useless. He's a useless, worthless bum fucking traitor. Just like Adam Schiff, he's a worthless bum too. Nancy Pelosi, worthless fucking bum. Nancy Pelosi is a fucking worthless bum. Remember her stupid ass daughter? She'll bite your head off. Oh, is your mom so fucking cool? Is your mom, is your mom so cool? Whose head is she going to bite off? Huh? Stupid woman? Huh? Who, whose head is she going to bite off? You sound, you sound a little pretentious. You sound a little smarmy. A little snarky, a little, a little overly, a little overly invested in your statement. Yeah, a little overly invested in your fucking, in your remark there. I mean, man, people like her, Nancy Pelosi and her stupid fucking daughter. My mom, she'll bite your head off. Really? Your bum ass mom? Your bum ass mom who's been a bum in U.S. American politics for as long as your bum ass fucking mom has been the fucking bum she is? Whose head is she going to bite off? Whose fucking head is she going to bite off? No one's! Why would you even make such a stupid fucking statement? 
Oh, I know. Because the apple doesn't fall too far from the fucking tree, does it? Hashtag all bombs.